Welcome in to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and we are beginning today a run playing as Mexico, and we are going to attempt to play it through and make a communist Mexico game and see where we go. Uh, I think there is a very high chance that this game will end with uh, me falling victim to the United States. But uh, we will see where it goes and we'll try our best. So one of the things about Mexico with, I think it was Man the Guns, is that they are in a massive political upheaval. Uh, we start with a countdown to the first civil war of 149 days. There are ways to, um, you know, move this around, I assume. Um, I guess it just changes the tensions to high. Um, so we have this. There are some focuses over here. We have to get to this one or this one to um, remove uh, that particular civil war threat. And we're not going to get to this one because that would be a democratic playthrough to get to arresting him. So I'd like to get to supporting him, but I'd also like to get to here where we can gain some communism support. Um, and kind of balancing those, I think, is going to be uh, the big one. So I think that perhaps getting to liberalize the banking sector, that's only 70 days to get to here. Um, although, this is a communist path. Actually. Is this a, does this have a, a political ideology? I mean, if we're going to, uh... no, that's a non-aligned path. Still, it's pretty strong. I didn't actually look at that side. Yeah, this is all the military stuff. Huh. Well, um... We can get this and avoid that first civil war. But we would lose out on daily communism support guy. I don't think we can. So I think we're, we're headed to that first civil war. Does this require... A certain amount of stuff. I don't think so. So I think we head for the red shirts and then we're going to head down this path over here. So we will gain uh, stability for the plan of Agua Prieta. The revolution against Diaz was the and the vicious infighting afterwards lasted a decade. When the dust was settled, the victorious northern generals met at Agua Prieta. Sonora to lay out their plan for Mexico's future. They're a populist clique of modernizers and secularizers, or else a confederation of caciques, little better than bandit lords driving, dividing their spoils, depending on everyone's perspective. So we will get uh, some base stability in 35 days. 
Uh, other than that, uh, I have put some production around. I canceled the fighters and uh, put some production on basic infantry equipment. Had to lower uh, from two dockyards to one dockyard on convoys uh, just to keep the steel uh, where it needs to be. So that worked out well. Uh, we, we're not training any divisions because we are headed for civil war. Where we're headed for Civil War. So I'm going to actually delete this and I'm going to have a fallback line of right about here because usually the Mexican military is up here. So we're going to treat that that way. Now, Mexico, if you have not played, which I have not played, I've seen one campaign through it, so I don't have a ton of knowledge of what to worry about here. Um, but Mexico has two civil wars. So we begin with uh, the general, who has uh, a bit of a problem. And, um, you know, that matters. But then they have uh, a revolution. One of these two will fire when you make a atheist or Catholic state, which we are going to have a atheist state if we are going full communism to get this over here. So we will have a second civil war, and I have no clue what that looks like. So that'll be fun. But hopefully we can survive that. I mean, that's kind of the goal of the campaign, is just to, to learn enough. Um... Yeah, we'll spend the 140 days to get these. So that's kind of the goal of the campaign, is to just, you know, learn enough, get through enough to not be killed by the Civil Wars. But who knows? Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But I would appreciate any advice. Uh, once again, we record these by week here at Taco Boy Gaming, so the first three episodes are recorded. As you watch this, it's likely... But the next three are not, so let me know if there is anything that I can be doing differently. Now, I'm just trying to figure out if there's any decisions that can be taken, um, and I don't think there are right now. I could, of course, get some of these you know, political power bits, but I won't. So it looks like this won't fire the rebellion anymore six days, it will move us to tensions high, which will lower our base stability by two more. Or we could incite the tensions and presumably increase things. Stop. We have a possibility of a reconciliation committee. This is all the Catholic and Atheist state, though. Good for Turkey. And the Rhineland is also remilitarized. Both of them went remilitarized. This is a historical focus game uh, in the AI. I thought very long and hard about doing non-historical for this, but figured that there was enough uh, enough weird things going on. Did not need any more. Um, I think that we're going to go ahead and get the support weapons here, since there's a possibility of being at war very, very quickly, and I am, and we're still way behind on equipment, so I think it's more important to just get some equipment, for now, for now, let's see, I don't think I have a navy, do I have a navy, I do have a navy, what do I have in the navy? One heavy cruiser and screens. Okay. Um, we're going to take, I guess, one of those screens. Oh, no, no, no. Not split in half. And we're going to split that one off. And we've 
probably should move you to the west coast. Just in case. Legacy of Revolution is done. Let's go ahead and get Communism. Factory output goes up by 10. Nice. But well, one of the big things there is division attack on core territory and defense on core territory. That will help in this first civil war, I am hopeful. Whenever that fires. I'm assuming that this should should matter some. It's just war support and army experience. And I, I think that you know, so many of these are, are for the, the church that... Uh, It's not, uh, feels like that first civil war is, is not, you know, is, is unavoidable through the ordinary means of decisions. We could do some anti-democratic raids, but that would be horrible to our stability. Let's go ahead and go through and figure out what ones we're not going to do, likely. I'm not going to do war propaganda. Probably won't do this. Won't do that. I'm going to leave open the... Well, I just probably won't do anti-communism. I'm not going to ban anything. A press censorship I actually do use from time to time. Okay. Sorry, we had some stuff going on in the house. Now we've got the decisions done there, and we have a completed construction, which I, th I thought was more important than the basic machine tools. So we're going to continue on. Um, you didn't miss much, I don't believe. Uh, we're going to keep all these around just for the future. All right, so this will uh, change it to very high, okay? Well... Oh well. Now I don't think that we can do anything else. All right, so we can gain the national spirit internal struggle, um, which doesn't seem to do much for us, but we need it for this one ultimately, which we definitely want to eventually do. And obviously we'll want this one uh, uh, well, eventually. But justifying war seems like that's something for later. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the National Bank. And, yeah, we're going to take down the Credit Bank. I mean, in theory, we might have 130. 210 days, 245 days. Oh, here we have this next one's going to. Um, that's fun. trying to figure out if there's a focus here for the church. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Let's require all the following now. 
so we don't have to get to Spanish Civil War refugees. Well, admittedly, that's only refugees. So, it is here. We need more than 60% stability or does not have national spirit atheist estate. And I feel like I saw that somewhere, but it may have been here. Has completed focus anti disestablishmentarianism. And we switch back to weak church. Anti. That's here. Alright, so that did not. That's not what we want. So at this point, it's just a matter of, of doing this a bunch. And trying to get our stability up. Part of our stability is just getting enough power. So again, we'll see what our uh, what our civil wars wind up with. So that's that's the next question: is Do we actually go for this? I think so. We can gain a lot of base stability, gain a lot of base stability through these stuff. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope that we can do that. Let's see. Um, we would need more war support. Um, yeah. So. I think the stability is more important. I think that is one that we can actually maybe avoid. Maybe. Don't know for sure, but maybe. That's 194 days. Still think it's better to get that research speed going. I think I think. So one achievement we can obviously get is hosting a government in exile, perhaps. Although admittedly, maybe not with everything there. See, so yeah, I think we we still go down here. We're we're playing a communist Mexico. Let's play a communist Mexico. So let's go for all of that, and then uh, keep an eye on this, because we're at 13% right now. Uh, communists, if we can get to 40, that's going to be really, really big. So this... Uh, we get religious insurrection as an event. I don't know what that will be. This becomes tensions very high. It feels like we're like one more cycle through before that civil war begins. How are we doing on equipment? We're doing really well on equipment. Let's go ahead and train one more unit. Just one for now. And we can't do any more stuff here. And so this continues to tick up. Which is what it is. Alright, so that is done. That will actually increase our civilian factory speed. Which is 
good. So now we will get ambition, uh, ambitious and union uh, as a political advisor. So we need to save up to hire that political advisor, which we can get from the 120 there if we don't spend it on decisions. The political elite, elite in Mexico have always sought to control trades unions activities. Trades union? Trade unions activities. The CTM will replace the CROM as the latter is seen as corrupt and discredited by association with unpopular past leaders, leaders of the regime. Okay. So that will give us just that political power and that advisor. We gain some stability there. And we get a national spirit here. And then uh, here we will have uh, lots of good stuff there. And we have PCM becomes ruling party there as well. Exiled from the Soviet Union for opposing the rise of Stalin, blamed for all manner of problems from military setbacks to industrial accidents, and driven from the country to country by political pressure, Leon Trotsky, communist revolutionary and author, has arrived in Mexico after a voyage from Norway on an oil tanker. We aren't Stalin pu Stalin's puppets. Give him asylum. Extradite him to the Soviet Union to face trial for his crimes, or he's an organizational genius. Invite him to join the government, which is, of course, what we're going to do. We're playing a communist Mexico, we might as well go all out. Now the question is, where is he? Yes. Oh, here he is, Leon Trotsky. Good. So hopefully, he does not... Uh, Going here. Okay, the Most Reverend Pascal Diaz Ibereto, Archbishop of Mexico City, Mexico City, has passed away today due to coitus. He was 59. His legacy is one of hardline opposition to the socialist policies of the government, together with attempts at compromise towards an end to the Sestero War. His successor is Luis Maria Martinez, a social reformer and personal friend of President Cardenas. The successor was probably selected by the Pope to ensure continued peace between church and government in Mexico. We can gain stability at the cost of factory output and replaces Atheist State with Weak Church or Burn in Hell. Uh, let's replace Atheist State with Weak Church. That will end this one counting up. Um, so that is fantastic right now. And um, that will, like, the whole idea here is okay, we're going to try to stop the second war. That's the whole idea right now. We're just going to try and stop the second war. We're going to win the first war, and then we can focus for a little bit before the giant wakes in the United States on taking out some of these places down here once we are communist. Because I don't think I'm going to stop this one. I'm not even trying, for starters. We will just figure out how to defeat the military junta. Um, we can gain some more stability by doing this. But I think I'm going to hold off. So we can hire some advisors and try and get some more communism support as quick as possible. Now that we have two advisors, we could potentially get... We're up to 0.4 per day, but that's not very much. Castilias, I don't know. Oh, this is Castilias. Okay. Not sure how to get rid of that. 
we will try to look into that. So we will do a rent freeze. It's at 22. Let's get Trotsky. And let's get the guy we just did. We need 150 for that. Well, that's fine. We might even be able to get him soon. But right now, uh, the daily change is at point one. Let's get him. But I've been Taco Bell Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, please comment, please subscribe down below. All of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one.